Yeah, I had a, I had, I had a juice draft, bro. Let's go. Let's do it, man. This the fight. This the final one. Uh, Mike Tomlin. Three, four. Damn it. Four, three. I can't go with the Giants. I might have to use the Bucks, bro, because I need my four, three. I can't go without my four, three. Damn, but I want the Pittsburgh Steelers offense. Nah, I gotta go Tampa Bay. Let's go. Bruh, uh, John Elway sucks. Aaron Rodgers, 91. All right, we gotta go with the Aaron Rodgers. We'll take the Aaron Rodgers. Uh, Brian, D Ed McCaffrey. I think I gotta go Ed McCaffrey. I gotta go Ed McCaffrey. It's a no-brainer. Uh, Luke Keekley. Oh no, we gotta go Youngblood. Youngblood, come, Youngblood, screaming, bro. He's screaming right in. C.J. Mosley. How fast is Scandrick? Ninety. A ninety speed, middle linebacker. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna take Scandrick. Say he's can't. Uh, Deion Jones. We gotta take Deion Jones. Oh, Josh Norman. Eighty six speed. Hmm. Oh, uh, Deion Jones. Cause I could probably use a Deion Jones, but he's six one though. Take Josh Norman with an eighty six speed and just put him in zone. Backed off. He should be good. Uh. Take Deion Jones maybe. I don't know. I really want to take Deion Jones though. All right, you finished your draft. All right. All right, let me speed this up. All right, let me let me get there. I don't want you to wait for this ass whooping. Hold up, uh, Delaney Walker, Thomas Rawls. We might need a. We're gonna need an O line. No, I'm not worried about the O line. Who? Derek Johnson Jr. Jennings, Delonte Walker. All right, let's go. You got an 87 overall. All right. Okay, this got 89. Nah, no, we go. We gonna go take the center. All right, hold up. Okay, he got an 87 overall. Okay, Jack, I don't care. Let's get our old line straight. Uh, Lamar Miller. Oh, I would love to have Lamar Miller. Karen Meredith, 91 speed, 6'3". We take a Meredith. Ted Hendricks, though. That's the... Oh, ha -ha, Clinton Big Dicks. No! I got to take Hendricks. I got to take Hendricks, though. I'm not going to keep looking. I would love to have gotten ha, -ha Clinton Big Dicks, bro, but I can't. I can't do it right now. Jordy Nelson, 88 speed. We can't do that right now. Uh, 86 speed. Okay, nah. Make our old line a little bit better. All right, da Danny Woodhead, Jarrell Casey. Okay, free safety. Nah, we need defense. I would have loved to got Casey though. Um. Hell yeah, that's what we're doing. We're just playing for fun, bro, for, for entertainment. I just wanted to, hold up, Madison? Did I have another corner? Who do I have? I have hey, Reggie Bush is probably a goon though. Olivia Vernon. Uh, who's my other corner? I gotta, I gotta take Madison. I gotta take Madison. <laughs> yeah, listen, yeah. No, that's cool, that's cool, Cookie Boy, that's cool. Yo, bro, you got you got to enjoy. Okay, we got to we got to go. Oh, hell, Kelsey, we'll take Kelsey. I know you got hella Madden 18 videos, bro. It's all it's all love, bro. I'll come see you in Madden 18, though. Oh, oh, Ogletree, Bob Sanders. I'm gonna take Jordan. Who's my tight end, though? Do I really need a tight end? Who's the tight end I got? Delani Walker, Bob Sanders, though. How fast is he? 93. Alec Ogletree. All right, we'll just take Bob Sanders. I got it because I already have the other speed. Hopefully. All right, we are 86 overall. All right. We don't need to set anything up. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see what Cookie Boy got. I have a goal call with the same speed. All right, yo, it's all good. Let's go. Whatever it is, bro, let's get it popping. Let's do it. Uh, 
Oh, let's see what's gonna happen real quick. Let's go. We fi we finally got him. We finally got brother goat cookie boy. We about to put out, bro. We about to put our hand in the cookie jar right now. We taking all the cookies though. Here we go, everybody. Yes, sir. G Myers World vs. Cookie Boy. Finally, we get him in the room. The dude came into the Twitch stream. He was ready to go. Uh, obviously, he's going to be putting out a lot of uh, Madden 18 videos, so this probably will not be on his channel. Uh, like he said, he's focused on getting the Madden 18 content out early. EA Access will be here on August 17th, which is two days away, so he's more focused on that. But I wanted to say thank you, man, for um, you know coming down and playing amongst the, the, the common kinfolk. You know what I'm saying? TSG, you know what we stand for, bro. We're the Swerve Gods. People didn't really like it too much this year. Um, I don't know if Cookie Boy was actually aware of that because uh, he did ask me at the end of the game um, what, what's going on with the swerving. So, yeah, I, I guess... Um, he, he wasn't fully aware. We should have probably had a little bit more disclosure. But uh, nevertheless, we appreciate him coming out, man. Uh, the swerve has been something that, you know, a lot of people just didn't really know what the F was going on with it, bro. But based on the way the game was, I got to be honest with you. Like I told Rex Dixon and the many other uh, EA developers, it didn't really matter to me, bro. Dudes had to get what was coming to him. Um, so it's all love at the end of the day. Um, hopefully, we can uh, get up with Cookie Boy and Madden 18, where the swerve is now non-existent. So now we got to see what else somebody else will find that'll be kind of wild and, you know, they'll blame everybody else uh, for doing it, um, you know, instead of EA Sports doing what they're supposed to do and making sure that it's not in the game to begin with. But Madden 18 is starting to look very... What the heck? What? what? Okay, so Cookie Boy's going for six, bro. Listen, the dude's trying to keep his cookies in the cookie jar. But I'm going to tell you this right now. He's about to rip that top off, though. Um, yeah, but like I was saying, man, uh, it was definitely a pleasure to have him in there. If you, you guys should definitely know Cookie Boy right now. He more just recently went over 500,000 subs on uh, YouTube. So congratulations to him. And um, thank you very much again, you know what I'm saying, for holding us down uh, with the G Myers World Twitch stream. If you guys want to see live streams of Madden, you know, Resident Evil, other things like that, whatever we're going to be streaming, definitely go over to Twitch and click that heart uh, at G Myers World, man. Don't, don't play games with it. You know how we do out here. So um, this is the first drive that we had. Obviously, we're going to hit what? Oh, green circle of death. All right, he didn't want to go for the ball. All right, so what's gonna, what exactly is going to happen here? What is that? Let me, let me just take a look and see exactly what's going on. Oh, okay, so that's Aaron Rodgers, who's supposed to be like the greatest quarterback ever. And uh, yeah, he, okay, he's throwing the ball right out of bounds. All right, cool. So we give the ball back uh, to Cookie, Cookie Boy, and we're going to see what he's going to do with it. I will tell you this much, though. Um, he came out very, very constructive, throwing nonstop dots. But again, you, like, you guys know like I know. It don't matter about how many dots you throw. It matters about how many big plays you make. Madden has been a big play game. I, I would say, I don't know if I want to include um, Madden 15 in it, but with Madden 16 and 17, it was definitely like those one play. Uh, re okay, yeah, but I had I had D on him, but uh, Reed couldn't keep up. Um, it's usually something that somebody can do. You know, in 16, it was all the aggressive catch, right? So what was funny to me is this. A lot of the dudes that made the tournament, all they did pretty much was hold Y if you were on Xbox and aggressive catch. But it wasn't really looked at the same way the Swerve is looked at. But they were both OP in my opinion. I, I have videos on my channel right now from Madden 16 where I was winning a game where like, I don't know how many seconds was left. And um, a dude would come out and just throw a aggressive catch in the quadruple coverage. So in my opinion, you know, people pick and choose what they want to argue about. But the bottom line is Madden 17 did give you a lot more user skill on defense, if that makes any sense. Because in Madden 16, you couldn't really man-to-man -man cover anybody at all. It doesn't matter how tall, the, you know, Dre Archer was uh, aggressive catching, you know, seven-foot dudes. It was craziness. So, like, looking forward with Madden 18, I'm being told that uh, the defensive interactions with the wide receivers are a lot better as far as click-on user ability. So I can't wait to get my hands on it to see exactly what they're talking about. But as far as everything else goes, um, with the gameplay itself, I know you guys have been looking at it. You should see by now that the, uh, the juke moves are back. Um... Let me see, you got Mutt Squads now, which that's going to be probably, that's probably going to be the driving force of Madden 18. Uh, at this time, there isn't anybody to, oh, he's going to throw right over the top. Yeah, I'm running around like an idiot. Um, there's not any talks about a, a Madden 18 Mutt Squad competitive series. Uh, because, you know, it's the first year bringing it back. Obviously, oh, we had to swerve him, bro. I don't know what you guys thought, but you know he's going to get a swerve. Like, it ain't no way the swerve guy is going to sit around and just get dealt with accordingly. So we had to hit him with that one. Um, we're, about to go to the, we're about to go to the half, and we had to just make sure that we were in the game to start. You know what I'm saying? Dude, dude got up to a huge... Oh, okay, pick it up. Bro, I'm still standing up, so how am I down? And why are you dancing around, bro? Listen, that right... Okay, bro. I didn't. My knee didn't even touch. My knee didn't touch the ground, though. So I don't know why I was, I was called down. Why was the whistle blowing? It doesn't really matter, bro. Regardless of the situation, man, end of the year... 
For everybody that's new to the channel, thank you guys so much for subscribing. For all my riders that's been here throughout this entire year and the ridiculousness that's going on, even before I was swerving, much love to you guys. Because I didn't start swerving until about February or something like that. Was it January, February? I, re I remember, but I wasn't swerving the entire year. You know what I'm saying? So guys saw, like, yo, look, man. You know, it was very, very frustrating as far as the way that dudes just, you know, do predetermined picks. And if you got somebody beat deep, they latch onto you. But, um, again, for everybody that's uh, wondering what's going on with the giveaway for my team, which I do every year, that's going to be happening um, very, very shortly. I hope you guys are following me on Twitter at GMyersWorld to know when it's happening. You should know already that it's going to be done before August 16th. Well, the last day is August 16th because EA Access starts on the 17th, so it makes no sense to keep playing Madden 17 after that date. We might as well play something else or, you know, engage in some other type of activity. Maybe do some NBA Live with, with uh, some of the Twitch viewers and things like that and get it popping, try to beat on Chris Move and stuff like that because he is in the game in Madden 18. So we can have a lot of other, fun, you know, other things going on, more fun. Oh, thank you, EA. I didn't know what just happened on that, but that was pretty good. Oh, Dot. Dot. All right, so now it's 14-14. We know we got to score because the dude is methodically moving the ball up the field. Oh, okay, let me get that. All right, oh, you want to drop it? All right, cool. The one, like I said, the one thing I could tell you about Draft Champs, I don't know exactly what they did to change it from like mud, but the game speed and everything was changed throughout the entire year. But now when I was playing this one, it seems like they might have adjusted it, but that still worked. You still fight the defender instead of going for the ball. So that's pretty much that. Oh, okay. That's pretty much uh, something that I, I, would, I would look forward to them probably taking a look at and saying uh, by calling a receiver in, uh, a receiver from the NFL and then axing them. Did you ever do that? Did you just stop fighting a defender instead of going for the ball? Because that's a very interesting animation that was put into the game, in my opinion. When I first saw... Oh, oh, Lurk? Bro, Lurk City. Lurk City, though. Lurk City, B. Lurk, Lurk City, B. Lurk City. All right, so listen. Either way, um, right now, 14-14, and we got the ball right here. We know we're at least getting a field goal. So we're just trying to make sure that we can maintain something to get some points, bro. Right here, we try to swerve him. He's playing excellent D, and then they're dropping the ball. See, this is when I knew that EA had no love for Cookie Boy, and they wanted me to take all the cookies out of his jar. Because no... I, look, I'm going to ask you guys in the comment section right now. How many times has the ball been in the air and your opponent hasn't picked it off? Like throughout the entire year, you probably you, you could count it on, on, two, on your hands, on one hand. Every time the ball is tipped, oh, pick that shit. Yo, bro, we, we were just out here. We just got really, really hungry, man. TSG, stand up. But um, at the end of the day, those drop picks cost him a lot more because I would have just been winning by three. But he dropped a lot of tip picks. I, I don't know, man. I really just, look at, again, he's dropping more. I, I was completely surprised because I know what the game is. And you know what I'm saying? I know what happens when the ball is tipped in the air and it stays in the air for like 95 minutes. I know exactly what, look at that, look at that right there. See that kind of smooth animation where his guy slides out the way? Bruh, I've been trying to tell you guys, man, it's part of the game, it's things that happen, you know what I'm saying? So, um, on both sides, we gotta be able to figure out a way to deal with it, but it's no way possible that uh, all these things are going to be the same way in Madden 18. I, gotta, I got to assume that they're gonna do something to change it up and make the game you know, more better. What I was about to say, more better. That, is that probably English? Better, just a better game. Don't, don't, more better blues. Don't even worry about it. But either way, um, you know, Cookie Boy. He, listen, this dude don't give up, dog. He gonna throw the ball out of bounds right there. But that has nothing to do with what I'm saying. Uh, he doesn't give up, cause pretty much he's down ten. Dude still throwing hot ones, trying to freaking stiff on me in the throat. Doesn't really matter to this guy. I think he about to hit me with a hot one though. Yep, hot one. Running for six. Running for six. Yes, yes. Oh my god. Yo, this game. What are they doing? Okay, what's going on right here? I know he's gonna do something wild right here. Dot. Bro, I should have just kept running with him. I should have just kept running with him. I didn't think he was going to be able to get the ball off, but my D lineman was so slow. And then right here, we just get dotted. All right, I didn't know he was going to run four verticals on that. I thought he would hit me with an out. So I kind of zoned my guy to play the out, and then he hit me over the top. That was a good play. He goes for the onside kick. At this point, the game is pretty much over. But um, you like, like I said, we're just going to try to see what we could do at the end of it uh, because it's like, you know, we're just having fun at the end of the game, but, you know, end of the year. But I, like I said, again, I want to thank you guys and all you girls, everybody, you know, that, that come out to support me at Jamar's World on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, everything like that, man, and show me that love. And again, man, if you're not, if you're not subscribed to Cookie Boy 17 go ahead and do that. You probably already know him right now. Um, definitely a cool dude, man. Wish him nothing but the best. Thank you for keeping your word coming through yeah i know the swerve is kind of wild bro but that's what i am man tsg the swerve god is in here man last days of the swerve so come check me out on stream at g miles world and click that heart man giveaways too one love